वेलकम टू पाथफाइंडर्स ट्रेनिंग गाइस आई एम योगेश्वर एंड द मार्केट हैज रैलिड अप इन द लास्ट टू मंथ्स फ्रॉम टेन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड द मार्केट हैज ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट टू ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड इफ यू लुक एट द बिग पिक्चर this is how the market is behaving so look let's look at this levels this was the high that the market created uh, last year in uh, 2018 july after that there was a correction in the market the market came almost till 10000 rupees level and then it took uh, almost uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 months to market to recover on the upside and now from here the market again turned down it made a high here of about 12097 then it again turned down this time the low was a little lower you know compared to this one and higher compared to this one and now we see again the market has gone up on the same level so we are neither in an uptrending market nor are we in a downtrending market we are in a volatile sideways market we are in a volatile sideways market even a simple indicator like a bollinger band you know will help you to find out what is the volatility of this market here and you see this is what the price is doing going from lower part to the upper part from the upper part to the lower part so this is what is continuing into the market so what is fueling this rally now everybody thinks oh the market has gone up not really if we go here and look at the structure of the nifty this is your nifty the index of the market consisting of uh, 50 blue chip companies and out of that 60% weightage is to these 10 companies hdfc bank reliance industries hdfc icici bank infosys pcs itc kotak mahindra bank lasan and tobro and axis bank and you will be surprised to know in the past few months most of the money is being pumped into these 10 stocks and it's very easy to manage the nifty by money getting in and getting out of this top 10 stocks because they can affect 60% is their weightage only of this 10 stock that's why when money comes into these stocks like for example in the last two months reliance has been a major market mover and another reason is the fii if you see in fii fii is here this is the semi figures of fis in the month of uh, october they have put in about 14000 crore rupees and now in this month the month of november till date they have already put in about 10500 uh, crore rupees they have bought and we have seen they are the one who control the market so the moment they will start selling it will start coming down and this uh, month our mutual funds uh, they are net sellers and uh, last month they were buyers but to a small tune so we can very clearly see the market is being uh, controlled by the outsiders the foreign institution investors which are doing the major buying so if i come back to the market we see that this market is driven by 10 stocks stocks like reliance if i look at reliance reliance has moved up look at the rally it has you know from uh, 1100 rupees to 1500 rupees or 400 rupees almost a 35 40% rally has come in reliance and that has taken the index up and index since it is moving in a range so from the upward range it is likely to move down into the lower range because that is what the market is doing moving from upper end to lower end to the upper end and maybe to the lower end so we have the index the nifty 
which is volatile sideways and you need to find out where it has become overextended on the upward side and where it has become overextended on the downward side here so trend following can be the very good method of uh, trading this market instead of judging whether it is bullish or bearish if we see it is a trend following that we will good results now here uh, out of these 10 stocks, if you see, let's look at their moves. Axis Bank uh, is weaker than the market. It has not gone up as high as the market. HDFC has moved more or less in sync with the market. HDFC Bank is a little stronger than the market. It's a moved up more than what the market has moved. Infosys, uh, after the whistleblower case, it moved up, nothing happened, but uh, it has not been able to fill this gap yet, and it has started moving down here. ITC will have further selling pressure. Kotak Bank, uh, strong bank, moved up, but look at this uh, movement it is having. It is... Uh, creating a flag pattern the highs and lows are almost the same and if it breaks this level it will go further down maybe back to a 1460 rupees level Larson and tubro has been a weak stock it has moved down despite a big package for the infra companies yesterday this one has not moved up so much and it is under selling pressure Reliance is overbought now, and this might be a good time to book profits or initiate some good short positions at least till about 1500 rupees level, which is the gap filling. SBI has been a strong stock in the last two months, it is uh, around the golden Fibonacci level now. And uh, if it moves above this, you can see it moving to 375. Because for the moment, it is a flag pattern I am seeing, which is a continuation pattern. TCS, uh, again, volatile stocks. You see, this is also moving between the high prices and the low prices. What are good opportunities in the markets now? I think you are getting two kind of opportunities in this market. Number one, there are many uh, small cap and mid cap companies which are very attractively valued now, which have down by more than 50 percent and uh, they are the ones where you are getting good buying opportunities and it's a great time to start portfolio building and in the 147 fno stocks you can just trade the trends look at places where they have become overbought look at places where they have become oversold because this volatility in the market is likely to continue for some time bank nifty uh, more or less in sync with the nifty if you see this is the bank nifty in sync with the nifty and it has also behaved the same way look at the bank nifty from january uh, February 2019, it moved up, and these are the highs and the lows of it. This was the high, this was the low, and it has been moving in this range almost for the whole year. Again, volatile sideways, neither bullish nor bearish. So learn your oscillators, learn your indicators, learn to find out what stocks are bullish what are bearish now now also you might feel oh market is at 11900 but in this one if i just put a yearly trend line let's see here this is the price for the moment and you see price normally comes towards the yearly trend line. If I look at uh, stock likes Reliance, which are now way above the yearly trend lines, they have become overextended. And if I'm looking at uh, 
a scan where I'm saying, okay, bullish or bearish, let's uh, check out here. So I see at this moment, uh, stocks that are greater than the yearly trend line are 457 and the stocks that are less than the yearly trend line are 1136. We are very much in a bear market even though Nifty might give you the impression that the market is up. But if you look at your mutual funds, which would not be performing, if you look at your portfolio stocks, which will not be performing, they will be down. It is because 70% of the stocks in the on the NSC are already below the yearly trend line. And this is a great time to start building your portfolio. Great, guys. Thank you very much for listening to our Pathfinders analysis. If you have any queries and questions, you can call the number at the you know which is given below and uh, every friday night 9 to 11 i have a free webinar which you can attend and which is an introductory webinar where we can learn more about the stock markets and here i also introduce my six months course and the investors club where you can create your long term wealth and learn how to make money every day thank you very much see you again